Baseball in the Boroughs is brought to you by Verizon. With my plan, get exactly what you want and only pay for what you need. The Yankees are blowing up on my Twitter and my Threads timeline for all the wrong reasons after their 7-3 loss to the Angels last night. That loss capped a 1-5 road trip out west, so let's bring in New York Post sports columnist Mike Vaccaro to get us caught up on all things Yanks for this edition of Baseball in the Boroughs. Mike, thanks for joining us. Let's jump straight into this because everyone in the Boroughs is talking about Carlos Rodon's kiss blow and the Tommy Conley meltdown in the dugout. I know winning masks everything, but this team isn't winning right now. So what are your thoughts on Rodon's outing, the kiss blow, and Conley's dugout milkdown? Well, I think that the uh, Yankees are a little more concerned with the fact that Rodon was terrible last night as opposed to, to the kiss. I mean, the kiss is a bad look. He acknowledged it. He owned it. Aaron Boone acknowledged it. He, you know, talked to him about it. I mean, kiss, you, you can't do that in New York. And especially so you can't do it because you have a couple of scattered Yankees fans doing you 3,000 miles away from New York. So you can't do that. But I think he already understands that. He was frustrated. Look, I mean, if there's one positive you're taking away from that action is that I think Yankees fans have wondered if, if the Yankees even care anymore. It's a silly thing, but you know, just by their body language, and I guess you know, people were criticizing seeing some guys laughing in the dugout yesterday. You know, that's the, that's the side of a guy who cares, the guy who's frustrated, and the guy who knows that he hasn't pitched well. You know, um, you know, it, it, it's it's equally as meaningless. But but you reference the uh, the Canely meltdown in the dugout where you, you know be a fan, a fan, a fan of the dugout, a, a stationary fan, I should say, uh, to uh, to a pulp in the dugout uh, is almost a positive sign because it just shows that there's a, a pulse on, on somebody on the team. Now, again, I mean, all of this will be completely insignificant if they start to play better baseball. Uh, you know, and, and you would think they're going to play better baseball if and when Aaron Judge returns, but they really need to start playing better ball even before that because the wild card race can get out of their hands pretty quickly. Uh, the AO East is already going to be a pretty big chore with both the Orioles and the Rays so far ahead of them. So they just got to play better baseball, and a lot of other things are going to fall into place. I'm glad you mentioned the better baseball because Aaron Boone said after the game, we are capable, we control the story. So are you, are you buying that? Does this look like a team that's in control? Well, he's right. Look, I mean, we, we, we've seen this plenty in baseball the last couple of years, especially with the wild card. All you need is a, is a good week. And you go from looking really hopeless to all of a sudden being in the thick of the, of the playoff situation again. So I think it's silly to write them off until they're you know, 10 or 11 games out of the wild card, which I just don't think will ever happen. So, I mean, it, it's really nothing that a good you know, week or 10 days couldn't fix. But the other thing I think that Aaron Boone said yesterday, you know, and he says that a lot about how the, the whole season in front of them and they have everything in their hands. But you know, he was also pretty, pretty frank and pretty brutal in assessing his team. He said, you know, he said, we stink, you know, and, uh, that's just not bad. that's not Boone's way. I mean, it, it's obvious that that, that 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 he's past the point of being Pollyanna, and uh, you know, really is acknowledging that there's a problem here, and it's a problem that's got to be fixed. But he's right; there is still time enough to fix it. It's still only July. You know, the, the Yankees are in, in near to fix the Mets are. You know, the, the Yankees are still within, within within sight of the wild card, and as long as you're there, and as long as you can get into the playoffs, that's all that matters. So the Yankees still have that in front of them, and, they, and so it's 100 percent accurate what Boone said. So let's put that road trip to bed. Let's put it away. Let's look forward now. They got the Royals on Friday back in the Bronx. They get to play baseball in their borough. There's a plug right there. Uh, is this a make or break series as we get closer to the August 1st trade deadline? Look, the Royals are so bad that if the Yankees even only took two out of three this weekend, there's going to be a lot of talk that they're still playing poorly. And gosh, if they ever were to lose more than that, uh, it would really be disastrous. Um, again, I don't think the opponent matters. I mean, the, 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 the Yankees just have to start playing better. I mean, I get it. They're hitting poorly. But you can overcome that by playing the other parts of the game well. And the fact is that the Yankees haven't played the other parts of the game well. Uh, David Cohen, during the game yesterday, talked about the importance of playing a clean game. And, and, and Wednesday night was anything but a clean game in Anaheim. Uh, the bullpen, which has been their, their, their strength all year, has shown cracks the last couple of days. That's got to get resolved. And uh, look, I mean, you know, I, I think we can put the Rodon situation to bed in five days if he goes out against the Mets. So I think it's his next team he's going to pitch against. Maybe he twirls a four hitter, which is entirely within his realm of possibility. So uh, it's, it, it's but, but, but yes, I do think that it's important for the Yankees to just play better ball this weekend. And the Royals are so bad that if the, Royals, if the Yankees just play well, things ought to take care of themselves. The 50 and 47 currently going into their next series against the uh, Roy Royals, as we said. Uh, Mike Vaccaro, thanks for joining us. 
Thank you, Brandon. Good talking to you.